January 27th is going to be tie-dye spirit day to celebrate mental awareness month and the end of the semester. So if you got a shirt like this, wear it. If you're a senior and your parents would like to buy a page in the yearbook, tell them to check their email from Ms. Brown. They're due January 31st. Yearbooks were not sold at registration, so if you still would like one, you still have time to purchase. Interested in working with a supportive team of students and also earn your ELA 12 credit? Writing Den, also known as ELA 12 Pure Writing Consultant, is accepting applications for its 2022-23 school year. Writing Den will train you to give effective peer feedback as well as prepare you for career and college writing. Students will also have an opportunity to read both classic and contemporary texts and will write creatively across a wide variety of genres, including digital writing like blogs and podcasts. If you are interested, you can, you can scan this QR code or find the application on the Student Services Schoology page. Applications are due on February 17th to Mrs. Neisel and Mrs. Henderhan. You will be notified by February 23rd before making scheduling decisions for your senior year. All interested juniors are invited to apply. This year's competitive one act is Twelfth Night by Shakespeare. Their district's performance was on Monday, the 24th, and their public performances will be on January 31st and February 1st in the auditorium at 7 p.m. Be sure to support the theater company and your friends in theater by attending this show. The Applied Mathematics and Computing Club is having a computer parts drive on January 27th, as well as during academic advisory, on January 31st and February 4th. A list of acceptable parts will be put in the description of this Cat's Eye News episode. A long beloved teacher at Nova High School will be retiring at the end of this semester. Let's dive into all of her accomplishments and ways she shaped Nova High School. Mrs. Cadena is leaving Novi after over 25 years of teaching, having taught classes such as sociology, US history, yearbook, and more. We went and spoke with some of those she's impacted during her time at the school to hear their stories. Let's check it out. So for newspapers, since I'm one of the editor-in-chiefs, um, last year we did like all of our MIFA, MIFA entries for our like journalism contest. And we were there until like almost midnight and it was just like we were all delirious. Like we went through all of her wigs and all of her costumes and it was just a lot of fun. She's like one of my favorite teachers, so. I would say it's more of an amalgamation of similar memories, like staying here in the auditorium well after dark, working on sets, painting and designing and working with her as she teaches kids about different painting techniques. Probably just eating lunch with her actually. So last year um, I had, I think I, yeah, I had like sea lunch and her prep hour was uh, like fourth hour. So I, sometimes I would go and like eat lunch with her and like it's kind of a really fun moment because we would just like exchange stories and she would give me like pr like really good advice. Miss Kadena gives really, really good advice. Her artistic ability I think has seeped through so much of what she does here. And there's certainly the art of being a teacher and the way that she brings creativity and artistic discipline into the classroom, but also the way that she has approached graphic design and design elements for helping student council and classes and absolutely the theater department. And she would give me like really good advice with things. Um, she would reassure me, just lots of stories. I love that a lot. Um, that's probably one of the most fond memories I have of her. After speaking with those she's impacted, we went and spoke with Mrs. Cadena herself to hear about her time at the high school. Let's check it out. Well, with that question, my favorite thing about working here is the people who I get to work with every day. And that means um, the students, of course, because you know I interact with them constantly. But you know the students come and go over the years, so the people who have really made working here great have been my colleagues. I think homecoming pep assemblies were some of the times that really stand out as far as like student and teacher interactions and kind of those happy big events where there are lots of people, homecoming dances, proms, the big fun stuff. Things that have changed the most, I would say the student population has grown tremendously and has really diversified. And uh, I think those things have 
help create a, a community, not of just diversity, like ethnically or racially or religiously, but also diversity in what our school um, is able to offer students because there are so many people here, so many different clubs and activities. Thank you, Ms. Kadena, for an amazing 25 years. We'll miss you. With that, I leave you and I say my motto, go team.